Today, the insurance and pensions industry is huge and has collected so much data they can correlate your life and death chances, your gender, your address, your job and your lifestyle. And knowledge of the odds could help us all. So what do we know about what affects our chances, for better or for worse? Imagine this 100 metres is 100 years of possible life. How many of those years are we actually going to see? How far along this track are we going to get? When I was born, the average British male expected a much shorter life than if born today. I was born in the 1950s, and back then, my expected lifespan was just 67 years. But thanks to medical advances and changes to the way we live and work, our chances are continually getting better. The average lifespan is actually rising by three months a year. If I were born today, I could expect to live to 78. Even better, the longer you live, the longer you can expect to live because you've been lucky enough not to die young. So at my age now, I can expect to live not to 67 or 78, but... 82. But what's not so cheerful is the effect of all those things I might do throughout my life that could stop me getting this far or even further. Research tells us that for every day you're five kilos overweight, like I am, you can expect to lose half an hour off your life. Ah. Sad to say, if you're a man sinking three pints a day, then that's also half an hour. But what about exercise? Won't that make things better? Yes, it will. But there's a catch. A regular run of half an hour, and you can expect to live longer. Half an hour longer. So I hope you actually like running, because that's how you just spent your extra half hour. Surprise, surprise, the worst news is for all you smokers. Two cigarettes cost half an hour. But the average smoker's on nearly 20 a day. And it all adds up. Doing something that costs half an hour a day. Well, that's more than a week off each year. And in the long run, that's a whole year off your life. For that 20 a day smoker, that's a staggering 10 years you should expect to lose. All these figures tell us a lot. But as for chance itself, that's certainly not disappeared. When I say I can expect to live to 82, I'm not actually making a prediction. It may be shorter, or with luck, it may be longer. 82 is the average. Imagine 100 possible future means, each equally likely. I'm 58 now, and as the years roll by, in more and more of these possible futures, I die. Until, by the age of 82, about half of my future selves will be dead and about half still alive. Which is going to be me? That's just chance. Beyond 82, more and more drop dead. And there's a very small chance I could live to be very old indeed. If I were a smoker, it's just possible I'd beat the odds. But overall, my chances wouldn't look nearly so good. Of course, many people would say going on about risks is being a big killjoy. The writer Kingsley Amis famously said, no pleasure is worth giving up for the sake of two more years in a geriatric home at Western Supermare. But I believe understanding the risks might actually help us to have more fun. Not less.